Hello and welcome to part seven. I think. Um yeah. Part seven of my amazing tutorial. Yes. So as you can see here we have the well I am going to call the Jesus Christ, as you can see here. It is the Jesus Christ. Basically because it got so pissed off at me accidentally hitting um the save button I just Named it Jesus Christ. So now, uh, so as I said last time, we were going to work on some Chrome details, such as door n doors and you know that kind of door handles and that kind of stuff. Um, one thing I did want to work on was make this a bit wider. So just more, um, so what I'm going to do is con hit Control and just uh, keep it on the grid and move it one two, three, and then grab the windows and go one, two, three. So now it looks a bit better, even though it is absolutely impossible to make this thing look good. Just joking, it's absolutely amazing because I made it. Okay, so continuing now, now that we've sorted that out, I was thinking as well, maybe why don't we make it a bit of a curve? So I'm going to delete those windows and to delete the object as well. I can just remake them. Now, delete those. Delete all this window stuff. Hit Alt and it selects in the line and then just delete like that. Now, I'm going to select that. So it's going to, I'm not going to follow the grid now, I'm just going to do it freestyle. And I'll go on the grid now. And now I'll just keep going on the grid and bring it down. What I'm going to do is select that in a line, hit S, um, and then hit Y, and it will then work on the Y axis and do that. Actually, no way, let me, do that's the bed. So what you've got to do is hit S, and if you hit X, it'll adjust on the um, if you hit X, it'll adjust on the X axis. If you hit S and then Y, it'll adjust on the Y axis, and the same with the Z axis. So if we carry on and we look at that, it looks really good, doesn't it? If we hit S and then Y, it'll adjust on that axis. Then I'm going to select those two and hit S on the Z axis which is up and down well, actually yeah and this it is um, hit S and then Z and bring that down or make it to zero and that will uh, bring the two together and we need to straighten this back out so we'll just select all of it and S zero and this will be our reference point to know. There you go, it'll be in line with that vertex there. And just select that all and hit F. Now, you'll see Blender does this, and it will automatically make one big face. Unfortunately, this means, look, you can't, you can't, um, do the thing, the loop cut on them. So what you do, select it, hit Control T, and it will convert it to polys, like that. And then, of course, gives you the opportunity, gives you the ability, not the opportunity, the ability to loop cut it like that. However, this is fucking terrible and won't give me a proper window. So I'm going to delete that. And to make it fit a bit better, we're going to see we need one, two, three lines. So, so what you do with the loop cuts is you hit it, you press Control R, mouse over where you want, click, and then use the mouse wheel. Well, move your, move it with your. Wait, oh yeah, sorry. Hit Control R, and while it's in this pink thing, move, move, move your, <sighs> use your mouse wheel to adjust how many lines you want. So I want three. 
I'm going to line that up with the top and these two go down here at the bottom then come over here like that like that like that and not like that like that now if you want to make it super perfect then just you can do that just like resize it to zero height difference and there you go now what I'm gonna do for the roof here is just move that in one maybe move change that a bit there we go great now we can do our windows so gonna select that hit E on it click then one sec resize it like that hit E and just do that then hit P separate it go back to this do that move it in now these windows are different because we want them to be mirrored like this so we'll just deselect those move that up now you'll see it will mirror that so delete that and copy that join those two together and as we saw in the last episode we made the materials so we're going to assign the windows material to that and we are just going to do this to the same the same to the rear we are just going to extrude it inwards then deselect that move that in like that as the, as the, at the beginning delete that face separate that delete the material and as you see it will inherit that material look at it now looks a lot better doesn't it just some just some curves makes a big difference as you can see there absolutely beautiful um what i said last episode was i was going to maybe make some new rooms um chrome and some running gear next up we're going to be doing some room not rooms uh doors so that's like a that's like a good kind of section for the door right i mean That's basically a door right there. I mean, look, if we separate that and uh, move that out of the way, it's essentially a door. But there's nothing we can really do with that now, so for now, I'm going to just center on that point and go out, add a plane. Planes are basically the beginning of anything, really. Anything you want to begin. But as you see, because I centered on this point, the creation point was dead center on that, so we don't have to like line it up or anything. So I'm gonna put one door handle here. If by the, you, a good suggestion is when you make your stuff, make it at a make it bigger, because it's always easier to make stuff when it's bigger, and then just resize it to a smaller size. then just do kind of some fair like that yeah actually that's good um, then what you gotta do is we need to mirror these things so do shift s and do cursor to selected and that will put the cursor there then go back to this and hit control shift alt c all of them and origin to 3d cursor now the origin of the shape is there so we can come over here to modifiers, hit mirror, um, hit control A, rotation and scale, and there you go, it's on the other side. 
just hit to uh, smoothen that. And edge split. Perfect. Um, we can actually copy that. Um, and put that on the bed. Maybe we can have two like that, yeah. Or put them on either side so it's like two locks. Like one, so both sides have to be unlocked first. Like two hands at once to unlock it or open it. Good. So, there we go. Okay. Getting somewhere now. Basic, simple chrome details. Additionally, um, well, what we're going to do now actually is assign these things a material and we're going to call them chrome. We'll make them just glossy BDSF, um, full white like that, and zero roughness. And you probably, as I've said before, my computer is terrible, but you should see. Unfortunately, there's nothing to reflect off, so um, you can't actually see it. But in renders, that will show up as a chrome, a perfect chrome. So we assign that. And just for the head of it, I'm going to assign these to chrome. So now you actually should be able to see something here. You see it reflects. If I include the um, ground as well, there you go. You'll see. You see how it reflects. Just give it a bit of time to render. But you can see over there at the front as well. It reflects um, because there aren't any many polys on this on this object. The shape uh, it doesn't really work work that well. Come on, get at least two samples. Okay, there you go. See, uh, it's a better example now. You can actually see it reflecting. That's simplest chrome material you can do. You can also see over here on the um, on the body that it is reflecting the wheel. So that is good. Get one more, one more sample, and then I'll go back to the solid. Hurry up! There we go. You see, a lot better now. Anyways. Good, good. Now, I need to get a grill on here. So I'm going to center on that point. Get rid of that. Not delete it, just get rid of that layer. Hide it. Add a plane, of course, the basis of any sh any object. And just... Just do that. This will be a very, very simple grill. It's nothing fancy, just to kind of hide the inside. We need to um, quickly do that again. Shift S, cursor to selected, and just do the same control. Alt Shift C, and because we want to mirror this. We're going to assign the chrome material to this, or the plastic, actually, plastic grill. And we're just going to duplicate it. Like so. And to make it fit, I'm just going to resize like that. Whoops. It's not centered properly. 
No wonder. Yeah, I wasn't centered properly. Control alt shift. There we go. Yeah, one of the objects wasn't centered. The object that I used as a reference wasn't centered properly. Anyways, there you go. And there you have a grill on there now. Okay, coming up to 15 minutes. I want to keep these episodes around about half an hour maximum. So, I've still got a bit of time. Now, running gear. We need to then adjust this engine shape. Maybe like that. And the idea behind it is this needs to pop out the bottom of the car, like so. Um, I think we can get away with making a bit of a groove in the bottom of the car, actually. Seeing as it's such a clean model. As you can see here. Or maybe not. Let's just leave it how it was. And now we've just got that over there, my amazing exhaust pipe. I'll probably make some kind of dump pipe ideas, like right now. Dump pipe because I might fit a turbo onto this beast. Oh shit. Forgot about the rocket cover. Um I'm gonna sign the um metal material. Oh wait, yeah. Did I not assign that in the last there we go. Got to rename this to metal. I'm just going to make this the metal material as well, just so we can join the two. Yeah, remove doubles. Line those up and just hit remove doubles. Good. Why six? Oh, one, two, five, six. Now, good, good, good. Um, this isn't a four-wheel drive, so get rid of that um, diff on the front. Diffs on cars don't have to necessarily be right in the middle, so I'll put this one a tiny bit to the side. It is better if it is, but you know. Just run that down to the duff, like so, and just line it up in there. If you want to add a bit more detail, you can do something like that, as you can see there. Perfect, I'm going to assign the metal material to the duffs as well. Just yep, And the chrome material to the exhaust, seeing as it is a... Amazing fart can. This I didn't mirror. I didn't mirror those. So let me just quickly control alt shift Z. Hit mirror on that. Perfect. So now we have a drive shaft. We have a drive shaft. We have exhaust, axles, all the important bits. I'm not going to do suspension because there's no way I can do suspension on this fucking terrible model. However. I'm going to see about making slightly better rims. These are not going to be like amazing rims now. These aren't going to be like, wow, they made such a massive difference. Kind of rims, they're going to be terrible. Let me just get rid of that. Just there, but two. Yeah, they're a bit happy. The 
the purpose of this, I'm going to separate that, separate the run from the tie just while making it, it'll make life a lot easier. Cursor to selection, we're going to add another plane. Actually instead, maybe I will um, duplicate that circle, the cylinder I mean, like so. And yes, perfect. This just needs some edge split. Hit W and then um, the normals. Whoa, what was that? Bevel. Uh, no, what did I? I just hit in insert faces. That's what you do as opposed to... Okay, nice. I didn't know about that. Oh, okay. I'll show you what that does in a second. Um, so we're just going to um, add a plane into the now cylinder. And hit Alt, I mean W and flip normals. This cylinder will hide all the mesh clipping. And if you wonder what mesh clipping I'm talking about, you will see very soon for what I'm going to do. You, I'm going to do 45 like that. Maybe I'll do it again. I mean, like, what's half 45? Um, I don't care. 22.5. And 45. Wow, those are some horrible, horrible, horrible rooms. Holy shit. Let me just... One second. Hmm. These rooms are terrible. I was actually better off with the standard ones. Hmm. Unless I do this. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. No wonder it was getting so fucking dark. Wow, these are some amazing rooms. Fuck's sake. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe I'm better off just keeping these. Oh well. That was a whole bunch of useless crap for my video just to take up time um... But what I was going to show you was this um... so if you've got a circle like this or any shape and you hit W and then, or I insert face 
and um, allows you to like sub sub it again. I mean, um, subdivide it again, as you saw there. It's very useful. I didn't actually know what the fuck that was. I had no idea about that at all. Coming useful. Um. Apply the edge split modifier. Just separate them. Maybe I'll make that smooth now. What the fuck? Okay, there we go. Nice. Um, come out to 25 minutes. 26. Um, so it's very basic, very basic stuff. I'm thinking, um, what else? What else? These bumpers, they should be chrome as opposed to that material. Now, this isn't as much of a tutorial as a take a look at what I'm making kind of thing, but in the meantime, while I'm doing it, I will kind of show you um, different tricks, techniques for um, different kinds of, uh, you know, all different commands, all that kind of stuff. Cause it's more of a playthrough kind of thing, you know, than an actual tutorial. I'm teaching myself as well, doing this quite a lot of this time. Um, I'm just discovering things. I mean, I just discovered that insert face thing. So. I mean, there's something. I'm just going to move the engine up a little bit because I want to add some cans. Some cam pulleys. Because they just like complete it so much. So you, what you do is you hit F6 after adding a circle. Or any object. And as you can see here you can reduce the amount of vertices. Um, I'm going to make mine 10. Because I don't need that many. So this is going to be m mainly hidden. Um, so 90. These things. I'm going to show you another useful command. Um, to make belt. It's a modifier that you use and it will allow you to make the belts. But as you see here, if you hit I, if you hit the I button, it will allow you to insert the face like that. Then all you have to do is that, that, like that. These are very bad, very simple incorrect in every way, but it will allow me to show you a useful um, 40 angle 32 I'm just going to separate these Um, okay, that isn't doing anything. What you do is you just there. They used there was a button that allowed you to just make a vertice anywhere. There it is. Hit Control and then um, hit Control click and it lets you just make a vertice anywhere. And what you do is this. I'm going to separate that. select it as you can see here now I'm gonna make that the, a different material for now just so that while I'm in this view I can actually differentiate between the two objects and what you do is you select this and you just make a simple kind of like belt going around it doesn't have to be type fitting if it is type fitting it will cause a few problems later on and just do it down like that you can do whatever shape you want I might add some other pulleys later on actually that's completely useless we don't need all of that for now and then just run that across like that 
do it to the other side. And this is a very good way, and all you have to do is you hit solidify, hit control A, that, and you move over here, and you want to change, you can adjust the whole thing, this kind of things, adjust the offset, you're going to make that 1 as opposed to minus 1, and it will do it inwards, as opposed to thickening it outwards. And then just kind of fine tune it, like that, we're going to make this belt the platic texture and you see it makes a nice belt as opposed to having to um, like extrude the 3d shape and what you do is you just hit um, set it up there apply and see it just makes it like that hit smooth on it and you're done and then if you look at it from the top hidden in the engine, in, in the car, you just see a nice belt on it. It looks perfect. We are at 31 minutes, we are over time, but that is that. Thank you very much, this has been Marvel. Um, to recap what we've covered, we have done the grill, we have worked on the engine making the pulley, we mirrored that, we attempted new rims which didn't work um we did the chrome highlights the drive shaft um chrome that made a new um cab and yes next episode i don't know what i'm going to do next episode um maybe round off some of the edges just make it slightly better um work on maybe turbocharging the engine um, actually working with um, that's yes I'm going to work on curves next episode using the path tool and um, making a turbo for this thing will be the perfect way to demonstrate using pipes using paths to make the pipes uh, next episode should be up soon tomorrow wherever this has been bob or marble uh peace out